fourth point about unconditional surrender is this. You give God authority and power over your appetites. Now, your appetites are many, 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 but you give God a power and authority over your appetites. My appetites are no longer mine, Lord. They're your appetites. Now, let me give you an example here of what I'm talking about. Leviticus, one area I'm talking about. Leviticus 11 and verse 2 says, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which you, sh which you shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Now, I know it says speak to the children of Israel, but God had to be talking to somebody, right? He had to be, he wasn't talking to himself, okay? So a lot of people say, oh, that's for somebody, that's for Israel, that's for somebody. No, it's for you. It's for humanity. There are scavengers of the land. There are scavengers of the sea. There are scavengers of the air that you're not supposed to be eating. Are you concerned about your personal health? Are you? You should be. Would, do you like the idea of spending the biggest part of the, of the end of your life in a hospital? Or the biggest part of the end of your life in an old folks home? Where someone has to take care of you? Wipe your behind, do everything for you? Are, are you? Do you like that idea? Or would you like to be healthy in your old age? Now let me break it down for you so you can understand it. Number one, God created the human body. Number two, God created the animal kingdom. And God created some of those animals to be scavengers, to clean up the earth. A possum is a scavenger. Do you know how a possum enters a dead carcass? It eats its way into the anus of the, of the dead carcass and eats, it, eats its way back out. You don't want to eat a possum. Trust me on that. It's a scavenger. God says, don't eat them. And God says, don't eat the scavengers. They're meant to clean up the earth. They're not for human consumption. There are clean and unclean beasts. Every time you sit down to eat a meal, you get the chance to prove whether you're a real Christian or not. No, I don't eat that. I don't eat that because God says don't eat that. You got a problem with that? You got a problem with what God says? God says don't eat that. Now, if I was just following my own carnal, fleshly desires, I would eat anything, right? I would eat anything, snakes and snails and puppy dog tails, whatever. But I'm not following my own fleshly desires. I'm following God's ideal for me to stay healthy, his dietary laws. Now, maybe I haven't convinced you that God's, God wants power and authority over your appetite. Well, let's take a look at Isaiah 66 and verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Folks, we're talking about the return of Jesus Christ to this earth, and he is angry. Well, what's he angry about? Well, let's read on. Isaiah 66 and verse 16. For by fire and by the sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yeah, God's going to kill a, lot of, kill a lot of people when he returns. Uh, Isaiah verse 17. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden behind one tree, in the midst, eating swine's flesh, and the abomination, and the mouth shall be consumed, says the Lord. Now, do you like the idea of being consumed by God, being killed by God? It says that those that's, that eat are eating swine's flesh, pig meat, and the mouse, because they're that's, that's an unholy, that's, they, they are scavengers, not meant for human consumption. God says they're going to be consumed. You see, unconditional surrender is important when it comes to a relationship with God. The surrender of your mind, what goes on between your ears. The surrender of your appetite, yes. The surrender of your time, yes. Your time is not all your own. God owns the seventh day Sabbath, it's holy time. The surrender of your money, yes, God expects you to give 10% of your income to Him.